and fashion kind of converge. College Football's Fashion Week here in New York City, and I promise you that fashion plays a key role in college football. The fans and the players probably care a little bit too much about how they look on the field. The Nike Pro Combat uniforms, yeah, they're lighter and they wick away moisture. They have all kinds of technical advantages we'll hear about later. The players just care how they look. So we're coming to a cold city to beat a team. And all they have, all of their recruits, they're watching the game. And they're freezing at the game. It's cold in here. It's so cold. And they're watching Miami run by with palm trees on them. <laughs> and now we're, we're stealing their recruits because they're going to say, oh, I got to get out of here. I got to get to Miami and play. That's why I like these uniforms. When he uh, holds his hands up high, you can see that it reads P-I-T-T, Pitt, at the palms of his hands. You can see, as we have on the gloves, 1942, and then when you hold up the palms, you've got the Buckeye leaves then with, with the big O. One of the, the great things we're very excited about with Mr. Surrey being here, uh, knowing that uh, he did a great job in leading that team back in 42, taking to a national championship, and then winning the, uh, the bronze star, one of the things that we wanted to do to pay respects and honor to you was on the back of the helmet every single one of the players are going to be wearing the bronze star in honor of this oh, sir um, so that's something that we're very excited about. this year's uniform is designed to look like we are indeed fighting them on the ice an abbreviated version of the quote appears inside the back of the jersey and on the inner cuff of the gloves TCU is printed on the back waistband on the right side of the helmet and forms on the gloves when the palms face outward. Two red lines down the center of the helmet represent the blood that shoots from a horned frog's eyes when under attack. They also stand for the bloodlines of the brotherhood that unite the team. The helmet also features a thin yellow line running from the front to the back that represents the beam of light emitted by a miner's headlamp. A graphic with the number 29 honors the parish miners from Upper Big Branch. The uniform's additional yellow accents the yellow cleats, reference to the canaries used long ago to test the toxicity in coal mines. 